Hey guys, today we're talking about expensive fragrance from the house of By Killian. A lot of people love his fragrance, it gets a lot of hype. I praise it, I have a bottle myself. We're talking about By Killian, and this is Angel Share. So this one here is an amazing, sweet, boozy um, fragrance on the market. Uh, definitely a gourmand type of fragrance. We have an alternative to it, and it's pronounced Essential Obsession. It's called Cognac Delight. So in this video here, I'm gonna tell you how close this is to the actual real fragrance fragrance and your share by Killian. If you like clone comparison videos to the real fragrance, if you like top 10 lists for in depth reviews, you're on the right channel. If you like fragrance related content, please show your support if you're absolutely new here or been watching for a while and haven't subscribed by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Okay, so this brand is Sensual Obsession. The owner of the brand's name is Kevin. Kevin sent me out a sample set, which I have right here. I talked about a few of them already. You can get this for about 30 bucks. You can get some designer inspirations, some niche inspirations, some Creed inspirations as well. Whatever your heart desires, if it's expensive fragrance on the market, it gets a lot of hype, um, definitely check the website. They'll probably have a alternative to it, inspiration on his website. The fragrance prices range between on the cheap end for like around 10, 15 bucks for a sample, all the way up to a full bottle it's gonna run you about 40 to 60 bucks. I'll leave all the links down below. You can buy it. There's no kickback or nothing for me. I just want you to support the brand if you want to save money instead of buying expensive fragrances. Cognac the light <laughs> so I'm gonna spray this on a test strip why I do that I'm gonna post notes on the screen for the actual notes of by killing angel share okay here we go couple sprays I'll let that sit and I'm gonna spray the real fragrance here this is by killing angel share so I got this a couple years ago my bottle is almost empty I worn a heck of a lot of it and then I gave a couple samples as well as subscribers on the channel so I've been through a lot of juice oh man so, initial opening, you're definitely getting a lot of sweetness in this fragrance here. It's a little bit overly sweet in the opening of the fragrance. Now, it's coming from the actual, the cognac and the cinnamon. So, you're definitely picking up in here, but you can tell a difference. This one's a little bit more smooth edges with the actual, the real fragrance. And then with the inspiration, it's a little bit harsh in the opening. Like it's a little bit heavy and dense. It's not as calmed down as the one, the actual by killing one, but it's still the same scent. You kind of get the same vibe, but you can tell a difference where one is trying too hard and one is actually doing great, just relaxing. You know what I mean? One's pushing too hard to get noticed. Now, once you get past the opening, I say the first about 15, 20 minutes on my skin, you definitely get a little bit of the harshness, but that cognac does settle down some. And so does the cinnamon does in the clone. And after that, when you get to the mid and the dry down, you're picking up more tonka bean and praline after the three to four hours being on my skin. And the dry down, I would say the next six to eight hours, you're getting the praline and vanilla and a slightly bit of sandalwood in the fragrance. Now, all people are gonna ask me, Chris, how close is it? I would say it's about 95% close to the real fragrance. So the opening is where you're gonna see where it's kind of off of what the real fragrance is. And that's with any clone house. You might get an amazing opening, an amazing mid, and the, the dry down might be horrible, or vice versa for the other two layers, like the top and the mid, it might be different. Every fragrance is gonna have different spots where it's gonna be different from the actual real fragrance because they're trying to copy a fragrance that's already on the market. So it's never gonna be one for one. You know what I mean? They're gonna be pretty close, 98, 97, but you can tell a difference when you wear them both by, on your skin. You can say this one here is the real thing, this one here is a little bit off-putting, so on and so forth. Talk about the performance. So if you're new to my channel, I wear the fragrance about three to four times to test it out, sometimes even five. I feel like three times is pretty much my minimum. And if I really like it, I'm wear it five times, see how it works out. Um, got no comments wearing this fragrance, just so people understand that. We'll get you comments, sure, depending on your situation, how you are, how it smells off your skin, but I didn't receive any comments wearing the clone. Projection wise, it's great. Full arm length for the first two hours on my skin, have no complaints. It radiates beyond the arm lengths, honestly, and people are gonna catch wafts of it. It's pretty heavy and thick, so you gotta be careful with the sprays. I do between about three to five sprays. Five might be overkill, 
but to each his own, try it out for yourself and see how loud or how light is off of your skin. Longevity, it's in that I would say seven to eight hours on my skin. Now keep in mind, this is my skin chemistry with the original by Killing Angel Show, I get about seven hours on my skin, which isn't a bad thing. Like I feel like this one performs a little bit more of longevity on my skin, maybe about an hour, hour and a half more. Nothing to write home about, but at least you know you're gonna get through a whole work today wearing this scent right here. Season occasion, so for me personally, this is more of a fall and winter scent. I don't recommend wearing this in the spring or summer. If you feel like you can get away with it in the warmer months, by all means, go ahead and wear it because at the end of the day, I'm just a guy give recommendations. When you buy your sample or full bottle, you can spray it and wear whatever you want. If you don't care how people react to you wearing a heavy base set in the summer and spring, rock it, enjoy it the way you smell. Occasion-wise, for me personally, this is more of an evening scent. I would say more of a nighttime scent. I wouldn't particularly wear this during the daytime. I feel like it's more of a nice, evening scent when the sun comes down or it's about to come down. And more at nighttime when you're out, out and about mingling, hanging out with friends and families, going to a bar. I feel like when it's when the day is almost towards the end of the night and you just wanna spark up the night by smelling a little more fantastic, more sweet, more boozy, uh, you wanna be more center of attention, this fragrance will work for you perfectly. I recommend wearing this to work. I wore it to work, it's okay. I feel like this fragrance that you get in trouble with wearing to work where I feel like some people might be offended by it because it's too sweet and too, I guess, juvenile for the office because most work offices want you to wear something fresh and clean, more suitable. This isn't suitable for the office. This is more of your nighttime party mango, club banger type of fragrance or a sweet gourmand fragrance. I wouldn't recommend wearing this to, to if you work in a school, work in a warehouse. I wouldn't recommend it wearing in an office as well, but to each its own, wear it when you want to. Here's the final thoughts. For me personally, I'm gonna give it say eight out of 10. You guys know I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 because first off, it's an inspiration or a clone of the real fragrance angels share. If you're copying a fragrance, that's been on the market already for a couple years and it smells good and you're not gonna break the bank. So it's gonna do what you need to do, especially if you wanna pay $230 for a 50 ml bottle, which is crazy, but these are what price of fragrances are. Either you buy it or you don't. You take a stand, you don't have to, it's up to you. But at the end of the day, I think this is great. This is one you can actually um, will work for you. It'll quench your thirst until you can afford a $230 bottle. Or if you don't want to, you can always buy yourself a 50 ml or 30 ml like this for around 40 to 60 bucks on Central Obsession website, which I'll leave links down below. I just want you guys to save money. That's why I do videos like this. If you guys like to see more videos like this in the future, like comparison videos of the clone inspiration, leave a comment down below. Like the video, make sure you can subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Be safe, everyone. I'll see you in a new video very soon. Peace.